Well, as you mentioned, uh, divers and search teams have been at the crash site today, and uh, most of the discoveries they've made have been fairly grim. Uh, there's been bodies, there's been body parts, um, there's been an array of debris that's been recovered, including mangled mobile phones and mangled luggage, clothes and life jackets and things like that. So from a, a search and rescue point of view, it, it's not looking hopeful. It's all testament to the evident force of this crash, uh, which it appears there are no survivors. Um, with regard to finding um, and recovering the airplane, they have at least found the crash site. They do know where the black box is. And it's now just going to be the question of how long it takes them to figure out how to recover all of that from the ocean floor 40 metres down. Jack, what can you tell us about uh, those on board? Well, the airline uh, released the names of those on board. The captain was an Indian, uh, an Indian national. Uh, his uh, LinkedIn profile says that he worked at Lion Air since March 2011. And the airline says he had, had over 6,000 hours of flying experience. So he's a very experienced pilot. He was one of only two foreign nationals on the plane, including an Italian passenger, the co-pilot and the crew all Indonesian, as were the rest of the passengers. 20 of the passengers on board were, in fact, also... Um, provincial government officials who had all reportedly flown to Jakarta for a conference and uh, photos emerged today of uh, the Minister of Finance uh, comforting her staff at the Ministry. Uh, so obviously uh, a lot of people receiving very bad news today.